I think it was in my first standard. When I was taught in the school that 7 plus 9 is equal to 16. I requested my mother each and every day to ask the value of 7 plus 9. And I used to answer the same question every day. Keeping 7 in my mind, 9 on my fingers, 7 plus 9 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That was a lifetime achievement for me at that point. Let us understand the concept of simplification and also the type 1 questions. There are quite a few things to know before we start solving the simplification questions. The first one is the Bodmas rule. And the next thing is knowing about the digital sum concept. And make sure you are thorough with other concepts in aptitude like number systems, HCF and LCM, percentages, square roots and cube roots, decimals, certs and indices. Strong command over basics of these concepts will help in solving the questions in simplification. Now let's understand the Bodmas rule. Bodmas rule is also known as the rule of simplification. This rule suggests the order to be followed while solving questions. Here B stands for bracket. We need to solve the digits which are in the brackets first and there is an order for solving as well. Firstly, we need to solve the digits in this bracket, then comes the floor bracket and finally the square bracket. On solving the digits from these brackets, the bracket is removed. Then O stands for order. After simplifying the digits in the bracket, we need to look for numbers with powers or square roots and simplify them. That is known as order. And then comes the division. Then we need to look out for any digits with multiplication. And this is followed by addition and finally subtraction. This is what each digit of Bodmas mean, the order to be followed while solving the simplification questions. Let's understand other small basic definition that is vinaculum. What does this mean? I'll explain it with an example. For suppose, let's take a fraction 8 plus 15 by 10 plus 5. Here, we can observe a horizontal line which is separating the numerator and the denominator. This is known as vinaculum. This or 8 plus 15 by 10 plus 5. These two are one and the same. But these two are not equal to 8 plus 15 by 10 plus 5. In this case, we first solve 15 by 10 and then add these two. But here, we add the numerator and divide it by the denominator. That is the difference. Hope you had understood the concept of vinaculum. Now let's understand the concept of digital sum. It is nothing but sum of digits in a given number. For example, let's take 88 into 888. It is difficult to solve this question directly. But by using digital sum concept, it is pretty easy. Let's know how it works. Let's take the sum of digits of each term. Here 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 and 8 plus 8 plus 8 is equal to 24. Similarly, 6 plus 1 is 7 and 24 is divided into 2 plus 4 and which is equal to 6. Now, 7 into 6 is equal to 42 and sum of 4 and 2 is equal to 6. Now, this is the question asked to you and the options are given as such. A is given as 7, 6, 1, 3, 7 and B is given as 7, 7, 1, 4, 2. C is given as 87,136 and D is given as 78,144. You need to look at the sum of digits in each case. And in the last option, we get the sum of digits as 24. And on further doing this, we get 2 plus 4 equal to 6. So 88 into 888 is equal to 78,144. That is how you can solve by using digital sum concept. Apart from that, you need to have strong command over number systems. That is, you need to know the definitions of natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, even and odd numbers, prime numbers, co-prime numbers, etc. Divisibility rules also play a vital role in simplification problems. How can we say that a number is divisible by 2? If its unit digit consists of 2, 4, 6 or any even number as such. Similarly, learn the divisibility rules of 3, 4, 5, 6, so on up to 11 or even more. 
and several other concepts such as sum rules, all these formulae as well as arithmetic progression, geometric progression etc. It adds an advantage if you learn the HCF and LCM concept, the percentage concept which involves Q percent of P is equal to P percent of Q and many formulae like this. In addition to that learn square roots and cube roots concept. For example, a number is said to be a perfect square if its units digit consists of 1, 4, 9, 5 and it is said to be a non-perfect square if its unit digit consists of 2, 3, 7 or 8 and also the concept of approximation that is if a decimal is given like 1.595 you can bring it to the nearest value that is 1.6. This might be useful in solving few questions. Understand the decimals as well like recurring decimals, multiplication of decimals, division of decimals etc and also the surge and indices concept, the laws of surge and the laws of indices. So before you solve the simplification questions, make sure you are perfect with basics and concepts of the remaining topics. We are done with the introduction part of simplification. Type 1, let's solve problems using Budmas rule. The value of 25 minus 5 into 2 plus 3 into 2 minus 2 into 5 minus 3 plus 5 minus 10 divided by 4. According to Budmas rule, firstly we need to remove the brackets and the order continues like this way B, O, D, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. So let's solve this question. Our first step is to solve this bracket and this becomes 25 minus 5 into 2 plus 3 to 2 minus 2 into 2 plus 5 minus 10 divided by 4. Then we shall multiply these two. It becomes 25 minus 5, 2 plus 3, 2 minus 4 plus 5 minus 10 divided by 4. We have successfully removed the first bracket. Now let's simplify this. 25 minus 5, 2 plus 3 and this becomes 3 minus 10 divided by 4. Let us simplify this now, 25 minus 5, 2 plus 9, 3 into 3 as multiplication comes first, minus 10 divided by 4, 25 minus 5, 11 minus 10 divided by 4 which is equal to 25 minus 5 into 1 divided by 4 and this becomes 25 minus 1.25 as 5 divided by 4 is equal to 1.25 and the final answer is 23.75. This is how you solve using Budmas rule. Let's solve another question. First, let's write the given expression. Here, there are no brackets given but we need to know the order of arithmetic operations. So, this can be written as 11.6 plus 9.28 by 0 0.464 minus 0 0.2828 by 0 0.07 we'll find out this value on converting these two into fractions we get 11.6 plus 9280 by 464 minus 28.28 by 7 on converting these two as well we get the following form and this on further simplification will be 11.6 plus 20 minus 4.04 which will be equal to 27.56. This is how you solve the general questions in simplification. This is how we solve questions related to Budmas rule. 